so welcome to the Set Apart Ministry. Um, just got a little Bible verse here I want to share with you, and it's Revelation 2, 4, and it says, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. And when I was thinking about that the other day, I went and looked it up, and it's really important to go read the whole scripture and to, to see and understand the whole context of what is going on. Um, so I'm just going to read it to you here. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, and hast found them liars, and hast borne, and hast patience, and for my name's sake hast labored, and hast not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. And uh, and so here, when I was reading, uh, like praying about it and reading commentaries, you know, it talked about how this church, um, they started on they started on fire, they started right, um, but then they got into a groove. Um, they got into patterns, and uh, that became their way of um, of doing their walk with Christ. Um, instead of focusing and trying to be led by Christ, they were now being led by patterns. And um, we we do that today. Um, I am a creature of habit. I am uh, guilty of this because when I when I see something that works, I get in that groove and I stick with it. But um, when I was reading this, it kind of hit me a little bit different uh, that this day. And I kind of wanted to uh, just kind of fill you in. It was really neat the way kinda, God kind of laid it on my heart. But um, I want to encourage everybody to, if you are doing any kind of ministry, whether it be through your, your church, whether it be through your family, whether it just be you wanting to go to the store and talk to people up and down the aisles. That's awesome. Um, I just, I, I want to really encourage you to always, always be uh, led by Christ and led by the Holy Spirit when you're doing this. And don't just focus on what has worked in the past um, because every situation is different. And, um, and it seems like a lot of people that, like Randy and I will be watching, you know, um, online or YouTube or whatever, uh, a lot of uh, really good uh, preachers and minis other ministries, um, they start good and they start on fire and uh, lives are being changed. Um, people are being set free and um, it, there's a lot of fruit that is being shown or that is coming of this, these ministries. Um, but after time, people get into their patterns and they're like, wow, well, this is how we've done it in the past. So let's just continue to focus on it this way. And when we do that, we are not letting Christ um, direct our paths uh, and we are not letting Christ fully work in our ministry. And it's now become us just falling into this, this pattern. And, um, uh, I want to read verse 5 here as well. Um, it says, Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. So we need to remember, we need to reflect um, from time to time and think, okay, so uh, what is it that I'm doing? Uh, what is it that we are doing if it's a group of people? Uh, where is our heart and who is leading this ministry or whatever it is, this outreach, whatever it is, who ultimately is leading it? Is it Christ? Is it the Holy Spirit? Is it you thinking, okay, well, I'm going to go do this. And if I go do this, we've got to, we have to get this done. Uh, if we want to... Um, I don't know if we want to, uh, I mean, all the way down to, do we have to have chairs? Do we have to have uh, heating and air? And I mean, all good things, don't get me wrong. But when we start nitpicking and trying to 
we are trying to tune and find details. We are no longer letting Christ run our ministry. We are now uh, dictating how it's going to be. Kind of like, and it just kind of came to me, is, you know, when, when Jesus was talking and uh, he told the disciples to go get some food, you know, they were like, wait a minute, we don't have enough food for all these people and what are we going to do? And Jesus was like, go get some fish and bread. We'll take care of it. You know, uh, the people automatically wanted to figure out the fine details, but Jesus was like, that's not the point. <laughs> You're missing the point. And so uh, don't worry about the fine details. Uh, but then also going back to um, the, the main thing that I felt like God was laying on in my heart was that um, don't, don't get stuck in patterns and don't get stuck in grooves because um, we may be doing a good work, um, but we might also be um, uh, preventing the, uh, how do I say it? We, we might be hindering the, the, the outcome if we are trying to um, just be like, well, this worked before, so let's just continue to do it this way uh, because every situation is different and um, everybody is different and we just need to always remember to just be led by uh, Christ. So I hope this is an encouragement. I hope this helps somebody and uh, please let me know what you think and if you have any input, uh, just let me know. Love you guys.